Hi, I'm Mike of SourdoughHome.com and BakeWithMike.com. Today we're going to look at how the Ancarsa mixer handles go in two different ways. When I bought this mixer, I was told, just use the hook. The roller doesn't work well. Since then, i found many people have the opposite opinion. And today we're going to find out which is correct. So we're going to start using the dough hook, and then we'll migrate to using the roller. With that said, let's hook some dough. Okay, looks like we're rolling. We're going to do another mixer uh, evaluation here. We've got 640 grams of water in here, 14 grams of salt, 930 grams of flour, and 5.2 grams of yeast. For the first run, we're just going to use the kneading bar, lowest speed, and let her rip for five, and we'll see what happens. Some people talk about how the kneading bar uh, or dough hook only tears up the dough and doesn't develop it. That's not been my experience. We'll see. The uh, measurements I gave you were from the GM uh, artisanal bread pamphlet. And it is their baguette recipe, though I'm going to be turning this into uh, pan loaves of bread. It's not holding together, so we're going to use the dough scraper to help it along a bit. Our usual approach when we do this is to give it five minutes of kneading give the dough a five minute rest and then five more minutes of kneading, which is what we're going to do. Turn off the camera while the dough is resting. If watching the dough kneading is boring, watching it rest is ten times as boring. Maybe a hundred times as boring.
there we go. Five minutes up. Now it's time to rest the dough. The dough hook kneaded the dough for five minutes, and now the dough is rested for five minutes. And now we're going to knead the dough for about another five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. Some of the dough crawled up the hook. I just left it there for then. I'm going to force it down a bit. I don't think we need the scraper at this point. We'll see. So I'll get the dough off of there. And then we'll let it mix for another five minutes. The dough has been resting. The rest allows the moisture to be absorbed by the flour to equalize the dough. And back to five minutes. One of the nice things about the uh, assistant is that it doesn't rock all over the place like some other mixers do. It just sits here quietly. It's not going to charge off the table. Some people look at it and say it's not doing anything. And indeed, it's not as impressive as some mixers, but um, for the impatient people who want to see something happen, my usual suggestion is just walk away for five minutes and come back and see what happened to your dough. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. The timer on the mixer will take care of the five minute part. Lot that's going around the bottom of the mixer. Let's put the scraper in.
Well, the timer went off. Let's see what we have. Looks like dough. We're going to put it into a rising bowl, let it rise for a while, and go from there.